To successfully update the firmware you will need a computer with the Onicon Diagnostic GUI software installed, a micro USB A or B to USB 2.0 cable, and the latest firmware file from Onicon saved in a local driver on your desktop, unzipped. To begin, ensure your FT3400 is powered up with a 24 volt supply and then connect it to your computer via USB. Once connected, the green LED light will light up and remain solid. Next, launch the Diagnostic GUI software, after which you'll need to add the file path for the Meter Attribute database. To do this, click the green pencil next to the top line. Locate the Attribute database and select it. Once populated, click on Auto Detect and the meter information should populate. If not, select Manual Detect and find the COM port that the meter is plugged into. Select it and then hit OK. Navigate to the Firmware section by clicking on the bottom blue icon in the left toolbar. Next, select the green pencil icon at the top right to load the bootloader file. Repeat the same process for the row below to load the firmware file found in the FT3400 folder. Double check your selections to avoid errors. With the files loaded, click the Reset the Meter button. This will put the meter into bootloader mode, which can be verified by the orange blinking LED next to the USB port. If this does not happen, manually cycle power to the meter with the USB connected. Once the meter is in bootloader mode, click on the red X button to disconnect the meter. Next, click on the firmware button and then click Connect, then Play to initiate the update. You have 40 seconds to do this process. The firmware update status bar will be at the top of the screen and you will know it is complete when all the statuses turn green. When the firmware update is complete, click on the red X, then reconnect the meter to confirm the new firmware version is showing and the process is completed. For further support, please contact our tech support. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.